Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a uh, mail relay. So um, if you have a Linux server and you're having problems with send mail, um, basically one of the biggest problems that can occur is uh, you can get an error message if you're using a, a mail test script and it will say um, the server is not authorized to send emails on this, on this uh, server. Uh, so please use a client from your uh, internet service provider. So let me go ahead and log in to the server. And once I uh, log into that server, I'm going to go ahead and sudo su, enter my root password, just so we can get that out of the way, excuse me. All right, so here we're logged into our server. Now let me show you a uh, mail test script because this can really help you with your mail testing. So this is a little um, shell script so all you have to do is you have to use nano mail test dot sh even if you don't have the file okay now you're gonna go ahead and just copy this right into your little shell script and paste it and then this will help you diagnose your problems all you have to do to execute it is dot slash mail test dot sh and go ahead and run that now if once you run that script if you get um, if you get the error message let's say we're sending it to gmail uh, your IP is not authorized. One of the easiest ways to fix this, but this is a very uh, temporary fix, is to go to this spam uh, house website and you go to uh, check.spamhouse.org. And what this is going to do is this is going to uh, give you a screen where you can enter your IP address. Okay, so let me enter mine. And once you enter your IP address, what it's going to do is it's going to tell you that it's blocked. And if you scroll down and click show details, you might be able to unblock it. Um, but some of them are not allowed to be removed. So if you run into this problem and yours is not allowed to be removed, there is an email here, here um, and you can actually email this guy and ask him, just tell, you know, just explain yourself, hey, I'm using a private email server, please don't let this IP uh, be, be banned. And you might have to do that each time your IP address changes if it's dynamic and you have DNS servers set up, dynamic DNS, whatever. It could be a real pain in the butt. So if you don't want to deal with all that and it keeps getting flagged in the spam house database or you know you just can't send mail at all what you can do is you can actually relay your emails through your internet service provider now uh, in my case i have charter spectrum so with charter spectrum um, i actually have my own email address it's my username at charter.net now how do we get this said email well if you have a spectrum account if you use this internet service provider you're gonna go ahead and click sign in and once you click sign in it's going to ask you for your username and password <coughs> excuse me so I'm gonna do that and then up here at the top right you click on this little mail icon and once you click on this mail icon um, if you don't have a, a email set up already it will go ahead and set one up for you so now your email should be your username at charter.net now we're going to need that pertinent information here because we're going to input that into a file so this is uh just a portion of the guide we're really only going to read this whole portion of this guide and over here we're going to read uh this portion here of this guide so um the, the configuration is actually very simple it just looks more complicated than it is i'm going to show you how to set this up so if you don't have postfix installed you're going to go ahead and use this command to install postfix you're also going to need sendmail installed so you're going to use that command to install that now once you've done that you're going to go ahead and change directories to your etc postfix directory now as you can see, I already have the relay host password file and a relay host password.db file. Now, you do not need to create this one, you only need to create this one. So, we're going to create that relay host password file. And it should basically bring open a text editor once you type this command in. And once that text editor uh, pops up, you're going to need to enter this information. The relay.dns exit, that is actually what you're going to put there is you're going to put mobile.charter.net. So the format of this uh, relay host, uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to name it something else. Example, uh, example relay host password file. Okay. So just so you can get an idea of what this should look like. So instead of the example here, it should just be titled 
relay host password without example in front of it. So you would type in nano relay host underscore password. So now that we're in here, I'm going to show you what we're going to need to type in. We're going to, it's literally very simple. Mobile.charter.net. Now this is your internet service provider mail server. Now uh, we're going to enter our username. So my username at charter.net, whatever, whatever the email was that you set up on that uh, Spectrum website. Remember I showed you on this, on this website here, once you create uh, your email account by clicking on this, it will create it for you. You're going to enter that username, and then you're going to need to enter your password, whatever you use to log into Spectrum. That's going to be your password here. So my Spectrum password. So once this file has been created, I'm going to go ahead and delete everything and delete this file because I don't need it. Okay, so once that file has been created, you're going to use that to create a database file. And the way that you're going to do that is with this uh, command here. But first, you're going to need to change permissions of that file. So you're going to go ahead and do chown root root just to make sure this is owned by root and then relay host password. Okay, so it's a little bit different than this te this text. But um, there you go. So that will change that permission. And then the next thing that you're going to want to do is chmod uh, 600 relay host password. Once you've done that, you'll you'll have the proper permissions, and you can go ahead and use the post map file. Now, um, sometimes you might already have Postfix installed, but it's going to tell you that you need to install it anyway. So this is where you might have to do uh, apt-get install Postfix. And now. Um, and even if you have Postfix already installed, sometimes it needs to install some extra stuff to do this. And um, yeah, you'll have to enter that command. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use this command. Post map relay host password. And what that's going to do is that's going to create a, a special database file from that relay host password file. So once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and you're going to go ahead and uh, get into this main.cf file. And when you get into this main.cf file, you're going to want to scroll down to where it says TLS parameters. And you're going to want to put a uh, hashtag in front of SMTP TLS security level equals may. This is the vanilla configuration. We don't want to mess with it as much as we can. You could also just remove this line here. But basically, we're going to be setting a different flag for it. And we want to at least comment it out so that... The, this is the best way, and I've even uh, left a note here. So if I want to get rid of our, my configuration, I can do so quite easily. I can just go back here, delete this comment, and then this will become live again. And the reason why is because we essentially uh, are going to override that TLS security level. So our new T uh, security level is encrypt, which is uh, needed by the mail server there. So as you can see, all this code is new. And you could put this up here. You could put this wherever you want it just needs to be somewhere in this file so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to do a comment here and I'm gonna do spectrum mail forwarding and now we'll go down to the end of this and we'll just put another uh, enter now we'll clean this up too we'll go ahead and write vanilla parameter overridden by spectrum mail forwarding so now we know if we ever want to get uh, get this back to normal all we have to do is uncomment this out and delete all this but what basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna set your relay host to mobile.charter.net 587 and what that's gonna do and we also have to make sure we reference the proper file that we made remember the relay host password file that we made with these steps you wanna make sure you reference that and just basically copy and paste all these parameters into this file and then all you have to do is save it with control O and then control X to exit once you've done that you're gonna log into your router now most of the time uh, logging into your router should be 192.168.1.1 it could be different according to what router you have and you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and go into advanced advanced setup port forwarding and you're gonna to need to uh, forward ports 587 to the IP address of your server and that will allow that SMTP mail to go through port 587. Once you've done that, um, all you have to do is you have to restart your Postfix uh, server. And you could do that using this command here, etc initd postfix restart. And once you do that, everything should be good. You can use your uh, mail test file just to test out, just to make sure it's working. Um, but, you know, you never know.
might not work. Um, so yeah, so you want to test it. Um, so this actually, that actually hung. So let me just close that. So I hope this video helps you, and I hope you guys, uh, you know, get this working properly. But if you don't, just uh, go ahead and shoot me a comment, and I will help you out. And I hope you have a good day.